from Incheon. We just did a one night stay at the Icon Park Hotel. Right now we're looking for a place to exchange some money. I think it's a 10 to 15 minute walk from our hotel to find um, a money exchange place. So we're gonna go look for that and then stop by a cafe and get some coffee and maybe some food on the way. coffee we're gonna check out of our hotel and then check into our Airbnb around 1 p.m. ish that's gonna be in the Niman area so it should be a little more quiet it's not gonna be in like the city center on the pricier side but it's really good and the owners were so sweet all right so here's a little tip when you cross the street here make sure you're careful because um, there's like no signal or any crosswalk signs where it tells you you can walk just be careful because nobody really stops <laughs> um, so make sure you are very vigilant so our grab is here and we're gonna head over to Liman where our next Airbnb is. It's an eight minute drive and it's about two USD. So this is our Airbnb that we'll be staying at for the next three days. The owner was really kind to show us around and give us a little tour. Here's a bedroom. We got our bathroom and our tub. We have a washer in the balcony. And here's our view.
walked into like a local bookstore. It's so cute. First time trying my mango smoothie in Thailand. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. We're gonna go check out this mall called Maya. It's about a two minute walk from our Airbnb, so really convenient. And then right across the mall, there's a little area called Think Park. Definitely wanna come back here at night because I feel like they're starting to open up things and I think it's just more bumping at night. fishier than it actually tastes but it's really good um, really really spicy though <laughs> and of course some pad thai so the restaurant also gave us this arrangement and I'm not sure if it's like garnish or do you snack on it We wanted to grab some beer, so I think we have to wait about two minutes. <laughs> it's not bad. I'm gonna try to eat mango every single day here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I actually 
never tried the red dragon fruit. 